Hello everyone, um, just waiting for a few couple of people more to join us. Um, just almost eight o'clock, so we're just going to get started fairly shortly. Uh, so just wait a couple of people just for just for 30 seconds or so. I know I hate it when I go on to webinars and they never start for about five minutes. This one's going to be fast paced, furious and to the point. So I'm um, just going to wait for until the eight o'clock strikes on my watch and then we will get cracking and people can can join us um, as and when. Okay, cool, right, I make that eight. So um, quite a lot of you on here tonight, which is fantastic to see. Uh, thank you for, for that. Um, let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm Bill Goss and uh, welcome along to how to sell your first 1,000 books quickly and effectively and uh, making you an unstoppable sales machine. Um, I want to come from Elite Publishing Academy and uh, my catchphrase is facts tell and stories sell. Uh, in this masterclass webinar, we're going to cover the following. We're going to talk about the writing process, um, how using your book uh, will be the number one lead magnet for your business how to attract and start to interact with existing clients or brand new prospects to sell on your other services, such as training courses, webinars, seminars, mastermind groups, you name it, the book will start the process. Also, we're gonna cover the 27 top tips to becoming a successful published author, what to do pre-publication, becoming a publisher, removing your barriers to resistance, Key thing, really what we're here about tonight is getting more traffic and using your book as a multiple sellable product. And that's what it should be about. So who am I? Um, I'm Bill Goss. Uh, for the past 15 years uh, and almost 10 years now, I'm been the owner of Elite Publishing Academy. And uh, we've been able to, uh, been helping over 4,000 business owners, coaches, speakers, authors, consultants, therapists, online marketers, and sales professionals publish their books to success uh, in that time, which is fantastic. So credibility, just uh, before we get going, um, we've now published in excess of 4,000 titles. We've printed over 2 million books, almost uh, hitting the 3 million mark. But more importantly, uh, we've generated millions of pounds for our customers um, in that time frame. Here are some of the big name clients that we've uh, that we, uh, had the pleasure of dealing with. Um, but our main our main kind of product core, uh, customer core, is the small, uh, medium uh, business owner, entrepreneur, sales professional um, who utilize their book as, as a main lead generator. Uh, Keris and Matt done a couple of books with us um, a couple of years ago. Um, I think they sold in excess of 20,000 copies now and it catapulted them as experts within their field. A few more other little uh, case studies there for you just to kind of give you a, an idea of, of, of the type of clients that we work with. Um, and again, some lovely, lovely testimonials there. Dom Hodgson done numerous books with Dom. Um, and as Dom said there, Bill is dead easy to work with and our book achieved number three bestseller on Amazon. And uh, just take you one more there quickly. Jane Hatton, we first published a book last year, 2018 start of. Um, and just to show you what we're going through today as well, um, just a little case study there that uh, we sent out 20 books uh, of, her, of her book. Um, went out to kind of top 20 CEOs. Uh, she got uh, three meetings and in that time, she's got a life, uh, lifetime value of a hundred thousand pound plus all starting from the book. Here's your authenticity book. I've uh, also, also written five books myself and guides. Um, and that's kind of uh, where, where, where I want to come up to really. So this is going to be uh, real fast paced today. It's not about me. It's about you. Um, and I hope you're going to get uh, everything you need from this info-packed uh, webinar uh, masterclass that we're doing tonight. Um, and uh, so I think I'll lead you straight to, um, we have to do a pre-record yesterday to, due to Paul's uh, very, very busy uh, business commitments. Um, but we recorded something for you yesterday that I hope you're going to take something from. Um, it's really good, really insightful. And uh, without further delay, I'll just crack on and I won't... Uh, I won't continue to keep on yapping on about, but here's the interview we're done with Paul. Enjoy, and I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome to the new episode of Elite Publishing Academy with my good friend, Mr. Paul Moore, author of, let's get that, 
Hey, fucking one. Fucking unstoppable. Fuck unstoppable. The modern man's diet to grab him life by the balls. Thanks, Paul, for joining us. No worries, mate. I'm excited. Good, good, good. So, yeah, today I'm just going to have a quick chat with Paul um, and get the reasons why he actually decided to write the book in the first place and the successes that he's had so far. So, as we know, Paul, this is probably about, what, three, four years in the making, mate, writing this book? <laughs> well, good. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I mean, I've known for a while that I should write a book. Um, obviously, from a marketing point of view, it's, uh, it's kind of a no-brainer for me. I've known for a long time now that it's the best business card you can have. Yeah. I've, known, I've known for a long time that if most people in whatever industry they want to be known as an authority, and the word author is in authority. Taboo. It, it makes total sense. Um, well, yeah, I've known for a while. Plus, I've got a fairly interesting story. Yeah, always um, helps. People always love hearing. They're always kind of inspired by it. And then... Uh, a guy called Dean Jackson pretty much forced me to do it. So, okay. Yeah. Good, good, yeah. good for Dean. <laughs> yeah. And, and do you know, do you know it, was, it was getting to the point where I was actually um, struggling for, not struggling, but I was struggling to come up with ideas for Lead Magnet that didn't involve just getting on with writing a book. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've had a bunch of different Lead Magnet webinars, online trainings, PDFs, yeah. but there's nothing quite like a book. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Um, be truthful. Was it a pain in the ass? I hated every second of it. <laughs> what is that? I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know, mate. It's, it's. I was having this conversation because I'm a writer. I write. Like I do All actually. The time. Write. All the so time. I, I actually, I wrote over three thousand marketing emails. Well over three thousand, probably closer to four thousand now. But that's a daily email every single day of the year for about four years, five years, maybe even yeah. longer. And that's yeah. two different lists. That's yeah. two different lists. Not as though I'm not used to writing, but I'm kind of used to writing short, abundant stories with a pitch at the end. <laughs> and then actually, it, it's funny because I think this is the reason why I hated it. I have this conversation about email marketing versus social media. Mm -hmm. And the reason most people are seeing email as dead is because I shit the email, right? The start. Email yeah. is not dead. Otherwise, I'll send all the money back I made last month. Yeah. Email is not dead. Shite, shite email is dead. Right? Yeah. I can't get away with sending crap email anymore. But I think the reason that people don't write email is the same as the reason why I found it so hard to write a book. You don't get instant feedback. Yeah. So people love social media because they're addicted to the dopamine hit you get from a like or a comment or a follow. You get an instant gratification from that. No money, no money yeah. for instant gratification. And it was the same for the book. I'm a guy that likes to be the second of attention. I like instant feedback. I like praise. I think everyone does. Yeah. yeah. But like, I, I'm, I, I'm just one of the only people that I admit that admits to it. I like being the second of attention. I like praise. I like attention being on me. Whereas with the book, it kind of felt like I was working, and I wasn't, but it kind of felt like I was working in a basement just on my own, and it was a very lonely experience. Yeah. Yeah. And it yeah. exposes. It exposes you as well, doesn't it? I suppose. Then you actually put it, it I'm going to tell you the truth. I've never, I, I'm not. I don't really get that much self-doubt. I mean, I've trained myself mm. to, I mean, as you find out in the book, yeah. I've trained myself to be confident. I'm not naturally confident, actually. I've trained myself. I've trained that trait hard, and I've practiced it hard. But with the book, I've never had as much self-doubt about probably anything. Mm. What do you think that was? Once it's out, it's out. Yeah. Once it's in print, it's yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. And you're constantly, I was constantly second guessing myself. Is there enough in here? Is there too much in here? Yeah. Should I include that story? Should I give them that much information because then they might not buy my product? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's, it yeah. was a very interesting end. It was a very interesting experience. Yeah. How, how did, so the process, as it were, because people always love this, because also people, everybody's different, right? Everybody's different. I, yeah. always, I always talk it and then get it transcribed. That's the way I do it. I'm a terrible yeah. writer, mate. Yeah. Terrible writer. Yeah. Your process, how did you do it? You do it in, in day, like you say, you write daily anyway. It was no, it a case I actually, I actually did it different. I did what you said. Just yeah. Morning. What I did was I worked with a few different people. Listen, I went from coach to coach. We all pretty much said the same thing. And you know, like, you start yeah. with this out, right? You fill him on the chapters, I called, etc. And I did that. I kind of just jumped around. And I suppose what I would say is I was probably looking for the magic pill, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. And that's not like me at all. <laughs> that's not like me at all. I was like, can I, can I get some of the writing for me? Yeah. Then got to the point where I look at this structure and I've actually, do you know what? I've got this webinar that people love yeah. and that come and it tells a story and it's got a very tight structure, mm -hmm. very simple structure, very easy to follow. So I pretty much just recorded that and had it edited. Perfect. Then yeah, the problem started. And that's when the problem started. Because, oh, that's right. Yeah. That's when the problem started because A, I've got a very different accent, <laughs> different being in the word to English, not quite English, not quite English, I've got this strange accent. And B, I then realized those some things missing that I've learned since I put out the webinar. That I've learned, right. learned that I discovered I had new stories and I tried to put this issue with it. I'm really struggling with it. And I said, and I spoke to one of my, one of my, the coaches that I would ask you lady who is actually my relationship coach, right? She helps me with some relationships, so she comes and helps my guys out. And she said, Paul, let's have a look at this. You are, you have 80% of the book transcribed. Why are you trying to write the other 20%? Style is different. Does that make sense? Absolutely, yeah. So what I did was, I then recorded the other 20%. She was like, why are you doing that? Like, why you, if the style and the sound and the feel is different, that's why you're struggling so much. Yeah. I yeah. just recorded you the bits, and then I went in and kind of played with it a little bit. Yeah. And then the big, the big shift that I had was, was I created urgency for myself. Right. This is where most, most people lack the urgency to get it done. So I had an event with about 40 guys coming to South Shields for, for my quarterly. And... I basically told them that I'd have it done. That was it. And once I tell someone I'm doing yeah. something by a certain date, it creates the urgency to get it done. 100%. And then I had that fun story where I sent it in my head. Yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. The, yeah. the process is in, in, like you say, the, the, the beauty of that is... The process was there. Now I've got 50 copies of a book that I can't use. I've got 50, 50 doorstops. You put the finish story. Basically, guys, what I did was I sent Bill, I sent Bill a copy of my book that was from like six weeks previously that hadn't been edited, hadn't been formatted, probably hadn't even been spell checked, and had like two chapters missing. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. And then I opened it. I'm like, and I opened it the day before. I was due to give it to the guys, didn't I? Yeah. And obviously, then I was like, holy shit, Bill! Holy shit! I've got 50 copies of this book and it's not right. And then obviously Bill Service is so great. <laughs> Blatant plug. Thank you. Bill Service is so great that actually the edited the version of me. He got it to me the next day. Which is obviously incredible customer service, but the guys are obviously plugged as well. Yeah, perfect. That's yeah. great. Thank you for that tip, sir. <laughs> and I mean, you know what? You know what, mate? It was it was at a point where it's a funny thing. It was at a point where I'm not actually I'm not normally perfectionist at all. A lot of my stuff is rough, and I'm always like, if you, if you guys have listened to my, if anyone's listened to my audio book, you'll know that it's very rough. Yeah. And if I could start with the story, I'm recording this audio book, and my mic's. Yeah. You know what? If I put this, normally I put things like that out, but I just wasn't a habit. Yeah. If I put it out, I, I think a book has to be, for me, you want to feel proud of it. Yeah. And I wasn't proud of the unedited version. No. But yeah, it's, yeah. No, it's, it, and that's what I find with most people, actually, is when it comes to the book itself, um, the perfectionism kicks in. And yeah, I think it's crazy because I'm 100% not a perfectionist. Anybody no. that's ever worked with me will tell you that. Yeah. I'll fucking rock up and I'll blag it. Put it this way. On Friday night, I had a huge speaking engagement with Ricky Hatton and Dean Windass, right? And I was a guest speaker, 400 people there were sold out. And I just, I didn't, I just turned up and smashed it. So I started writing this thing and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to speak from my heart. Yeah. Which is also called for blagging. Yes. You know? yeah. I mean, I didn't, listen, if you know your content, you know your content. But with this book thing, honestly, it messed with me mentally. It was crazy. It's mad though, isn't it, to hear that. I, 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 and I get that all the time. And that's always the biggest yeah. issue that I think most people find is, yeah, this perfectionism comes out. I think out one of the tips, I think one of the hardest things is doing other shit and having a lot of other things going on while you're trying to write a book. I think if I did it again, that's a big hit. 
<laughs> if I did it again, obviously, listen, when we talk about results and what's happened since, everyone's going to want to put them together, right? Yeah, absolutely. If I did it again, I think what I would do is I would block in some kind of uninterrupted focus and I would go like full immersion on it. Yeah. Rather than just trying to pinch bits of time here and there. Yeah. It yeah. In, which is, for me, fit, anyone I see is fit, I'm going to try and fit it in. That's yeah. code for I'm committed. I've got yeah. other priorities. Yeah. yeah so. That's that's what I would do different if I did it again. No, that's good to hear, mate. It's like it's like everyone's different. Everyone does things differently, and I will say that most yeah, people, absolutely. most people yeah. have the content anyway. Like you say, most people, and I, that's what I was doing a little talk about today. Is most people have content today. There's an email from your lovely wife there, mate. I'll leave that there. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, yeah, most people have the content. They've already got it. They just need to embellish that. But they get the single. They have to write a book that's going to be so big, and it doesn't. Get it out there, flesh it out. Even do a little mini guide to start with. If you're just trying to test it, I tell be... my guys. That's what I tell yeah. my guys. I mean, just let put some out of twenty pages. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Twenty pages, yeah. 20 pages is more than enough. I think people. I think it goes back to size. You know, it's the old classic, mate. People go on about the size of their wanger, isn't it? They, they, they feel that they've got to have something big, as it were, and it doesn't matter. You know what you need for me? What's that? I'm looking at books and I think. I'm in a program called Strategic Coach with Dan Sullivan, right? Yeah, I've been invited right to that, actually. I'm, I'm, yeah. Oh, dude, I recommend it. I've been okay. here for four years. Tremendous. My okay. wife's even My wife's okay. even Yeah. So, so it's GM. He's wrote about 50 books, right? And they're all... Oh, yeah. 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 This is the king of my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I told this one here is 72 pages. And look at this. What he does is he writes some of it, and then he actually turns it. He said he can summarize the book with cartoons. He summarized the whole book with graphics, and then he puts this little scorecard at the back that also summarizes the book. Yeah. That's that one. That's the gap in the game. And then there's one called the 80% approach. Sometimes yeah. it's PD in for people that live in the 90s. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but and, and that changed it. And then also one of my favorite books is called Tribe by Seth Godin, right? Yeah. One of my favorite books. And that's only small as well. Yeah. It's, yeah. Always, it's always those quality of content, mate, isn't it? That's what it is. It's, it's, it, does. It, it doesn't matter. You know, and also, I think if you spread it out too much, then people are like, okay, well, give us, give us the point. So people, especially, I think it's the way we consume things nowadays as well as, I think, obviously, with the internet and everything that people are doing on social, etc. the quick, quicker, punchier thing, our time limits are... Seem to be restrained that we, we keep telling ourselves that you know that that may be the reason, but the quicker the that's what I say to you. If you do a book that is sixty to hundred pages, that's quick, punchy. People, you're going to excite people enough to want to do the next step, the next whatever your call to action is, whatever you've excited them. They can read that within a night, really. Or two Absolutely. Nights. So that's the whole point of kind of like part of me is like, am I even bothered if people are reading the book because I want to read my email? But also, I'm like, listen, if they don't finish the book, they don't get to the calls to action. Yeah. I actually say, listen, I've took out a bunch of fluff. I could, I could fill this book with testimonials and success stories, but it's just fluff. Yeah. I get yeah. guys messaging me, listen, I'm in, that, I'm in a very unique niche, I think, with, with these guys. And I've had, I would say, 10 to 20, or like, it's the first book I've ever finished. Yeah. Some of them, it's the first book I picked up since school. Yeah, yeah. That's so I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm working with a bunch of guys that aren't necessarily your typical business owner. No, no. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I'm working with builders. I'm working with plumbers. These guys don't aren't your average guys who are going to pick up a marketing. No, and so, so, that's a good way to lead on, really. Then is to the, the results stage, if you like. So the yeah. hardship of finally getting it out there, and then yeah. we launched it from the start. Start of Jan, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. So tell tell everyone the results from then, as in what you. We're on about, we're on, I think we're on two thousand plus copies, yeah. which is two thousand on my email list. But also, think about this, 2,000 buyers on the email. Not just people opting in for a free PDF, which I think definitely has its place. Still has its place. In fact, I'll probably end up doing that again at some point in the future. Yeah. Free PDF still works. Yeah. But a printed book gives me uh, added leverage. Yeah, credibility. Way more added leverage. It's got way more perceived value. Yeah. And now allows me also to liquidate my ad spend. Because... With the tiny little bit that I add on for the book, because I only charge eight quid for the book, yeah, he does. that allows me to run my ads for free, pretty much for free. So I've got two thousand people on my email list who are buyers, 
who have also essentially came on my email list for free because I'm not looking to make money on the boot. That's a mistake that a lot of people make. I'm not looking to make a few quid on a few boots. I'm looking to upsell people eventually through the quality of my boot, through the information I've seen, through the inspiration that they get, that they'll eventually step into one of my higher end programs, which is coaching. Yeah. So that's that's essentially what I'm looking to do. So 2,000 people who are 2,000 buyers who are way more committed than people who opted in for free PDF. 100, yeah. And also um, liquidated my ad spend. It's perfect. Free advertising. And then obviously, we've actually ended up profiting from it because when, when people opt in for the book, I give them the option to get the audio book as well. And 10% of the people that buy the book buy the audio book. Wow. That's interesting yeah. to that. Yeah. yeah. That is good, actually. For 200 people are £10 a pop. Right. It's not bad, yeah. is it? Yeah. And then I don't sell them into a meditation training. On right. the same page. Meditation training is 40 quid, I think, another 10% of that 10%. So it's not that many take up the meditation on that. Yeah. And then, obviously, they're on my email list where I sell other things to them. Yeah. But then awesome. this is all, for me, the book also opens up a bunch of opportunities for me. Yeah. This really hard thing, it already came about through what I've been doing. But he took a copy of my book. His manager took a copy of my book. Yeah. It's great contact for me. Yeah. Um, what else has happened since then? I've been interviewed for a couple of radio shows. I get podcast interviews. Coming out my eyeballs right now. I'm tripping most of them down. I'm getting asked to speak at an event. I've just actually seen the email. You know, an event, an event in October in Stratford upon Avon. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, a bunch of pretty much. Daily Mail want to interview me. Wow. Okay. I've actually said no to that. Yeah, I would as well, mate. I would strongly yeah. advise that. <laughs> I've said no to that because, listen, that's not, I don't know what could happen of that. I know that they'll, they'll, they'll yeah, it's just I don't want to be exposed on that level just no, yet. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> it just proves, doesn't it? Once again, you're, you've been obviously generous with, 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 with what you've said to people, but the key thing is what I pick up from it is business wise, you probably didn't need to write the book, as it were. Your business is strong. I did it. I did it. My business yeah. is already strong and profitable. Yeah. So what, as I'll say to people, is you know you don't have to be always looking for these. But even people whose businesses are strong and stable and, and kind of moving forwards, this here, by what Paul's done here, has yeah. elevated you again. Absolutely. Um, to as I say, a produce two thousand plus fresh leads, buying leads, as Paul's already said. Now, I tell you something, Bill. I've done no organic work on it whatsoever. None. None. Because no. uh, I'm not. Here's the thing. I'm always committed mostly. My main priority is always paid traffic. Why? Because it works when I don't. I'm trying to build a self-managing company. I can't do that with constant organic posts. I do it, but it's not a priority for me because again, if I'm busy, it's not getting done. Yeah. And I don't want to get busier. I'm looking to build a more successful business. It's not a busier business. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm backwards. Yeah. But what I also say, I also haven't done the whole where you send your book to influencers type thing either. Mm. You've not done that yet. We started you know with what Ricky Hatton. He just took it. I didn't even give him it. It was just there on the table. <laughs> Did you ask, okay. him the, ask him for seven ninety five? Do you know why I don't do that? I mean, it might be a tactic that a lot of people use, but I get sent them all the time. I never read them. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. I think it's okay if someone wants to like pose for a quick photo with your book or something. But yeah, and, uh, I'll probably give it out. I'm speaking at another event in Barcelona at the end of August, which will be pretty cool. That's a like, that's a big event where there's, there's like a big pot. Bank holiday weekend in August. Oh, Will right. I speak? Like, you pay for me wife to fly out. I'll speak on all three days, bro. Yeah, we're, 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 uh, we're out to Barcelona as well, so I'll do that thing. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's made a huge difference. But the last thing I want to add on that actually, when you yeah. mention that, I am aware that what got me here won't get me there. Won't necessarily whatever got me to one place won't necessarily get me to the next place. That's, that, that's my thinking with this book. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm, I'm glad you said that as well. Because, I mean, I say it a lot, but also it's nice to hear it from other people is, you yeah. know, I know by doing this thing here, that book, like you say, isn't necessarily directly going to do what you want it to do, but it will help yeah. you elevate you. And that's what I keep saying to people is, if you can make it pay for itself, which it should do if you market it the right way, exactly what you've done, that's what I wanted to get you on for. If it's yeah. paying for itself, um, it's not costing you any money. Okay, it's not making you millions of pounds as it were but eventually this will then lead on to like you say the training programs and other stuff that you sell and you know that's why you've done that is 
this eight, seven ninety five product which you can buy from where is it? Unstoppablebooks.com. Unstoppablebooks.com. was four grand. I'm like, eh. What? Uh, someone what? already, someone already, obviously already had it, and I, I didn't. Uh, and a missing S wasn't worth four grand. <laughs> So if you go yeah. if you if you go there like so you see it and then go through the process as well if you, if you want a copy of Paul's book obviously I'm going to recommend it but it, it, it's yeah. not it's not a it's not a business book by the way people um, nah. and that's that's another thing that I want to talk about Paul has built his fo I say following mate it's the only way to describe it you know rather large following on that but it's not that's what everything he's done in my opinion hasn't been about the business side more than nah. anything has it no because he has a reason he has a hard track right guys that are doing okay in business. Well, they've kind of sacrificed the rest of their life to make that happen. So there is a lot of business advice in there, but it's not like he has how to get more clients. He has how to get busier. But I'm not, I've got, I don't want to make people busier. People are already busy. So I'm trying to pretty much help them get their shit together across their entire life. What I'll also see about the book, Bill, what it's helped with. And I've been getting a bit of shit for this recently, actually. But listen here, I'm going to get shit regardless of whether I'm winning or losing. So yeah. it's all good. I get so many messages from people. Because of the amount of content that I put out, like I put out a lot of content, right? I'm, I'm, I'm relentless with the content. Dean Jackson calls me, no, uh, uh, I'm like a giant cow. That you just keep, <laughs> you milking. Just keep milking. You just milk, 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 milk. So that's the amount of content you're like a milk making machine for. I said, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been compared to a cow before, but yeah, I've been mean, compared to a lot of things, mostly penises. But, <laughs> This, um, the, the, I get so many questions and people ask me for your advice. I can't keep up with it. I get about 150 to 200 direct messages just on Facebook a week. Can't yeah. keep up with it. What I can do now, though, is say, listen, have you bought me book yet? Mm. And I get a lot of shit for it. Paul, I'm reaching out. You're trying to get help me trying to sell me a book. I'm like, hold on a second. You expect me to give up my time from my family and yeah. my paying clients, but you're not willing to invest eight quid. And again, that may sound harsh, but it's eight quid. If you're not willing to invest eight quid, I guarantee you're not willing to take the advice that I give you for free. Yeah. I guarantee that you're not going to give take the advice I give you for free because I've already got 200 videos for you yeah. to watch. I've already got 200 free podcasts for you to listen to. Yeah. So the very fact that you haven't even looked for those, right? you haven't even watched those, and then you're asking me for free advice, but you're not willing to invest eight quid, the free advice would be a complete waste of my time and your time. Absolutely. So that's, that's been one of the biggest things to be able to refer to that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. That, yeah, and that's what people need to think of more and more when they're doing it. I was going about the process, and it is a process, is that even, yeah. you know, if you have, I have this in mind, you've got to start marketing it, letting people know about it. I, I say six months in advance, but three months minimum, in my opinion, if you want it to be a success. Yeah. Get your yeah. pre-orders in. If you could do your pre-orders properly, it's going to pay for everything. I didn't anyway. do pre-orders. You didn't do pre-orders. Pre no, no, you didn't. You know why? Because I just decided like two weeks before <laughs> I'm going to have this book done by next week. And you did it. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. 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 I think you sent me a text. I think it was like October or whatever time saying, Bill, yeah. the book's on its way. I'll let you know. Yeah. I mean, it was like that. Within two weeks, it was like, right, can you do this? Can we get this done? Can we sort that out? Blah, yeah. blah, blah. And it was well, yeah. and then I wrote the children's book at the same time. Yeah, eh? true. Yeah, absolutely yeah. true. Yeah. I totally forgot about that. Do you know what's crazy? I've completely forgotten about that. Man. <laughs> I don't even mention it anymore. Isn't that weird? Yeah. That what said to me? I, I took my kids to jujitsu on Thursday, and I went in, the, and it was World Book Day, right? Yeah. My kids are in my book. They're like, "Oh, really? You sent one of your kids as Captain Underpants, <laughs> and the other one as this Way of the Warrior kid, but they both got their own book that they're in." I was like, I didn't, honestly, it didn't impress my mind. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. But it's out there. What's it called? It is out there. It is out there. And it was, listen, I didn't write that book to do anything with anybody. It was for them. Yeah. It was, yeah. For, the, it was for the kids to, to say that they're in a book and that was in it. But it, it is on Amazon, folks, by the way. It's called yeah. Max and Nina Go to the Zoo, isn't it? It is called Max and Nina Go to the Zoo. I'm glad I remembered that, you see. <laughs> so that's magic, mate. Um, thanks ever so much for your time. Um, if, you, if you can just say to people, uh, just give them, if you can, one or two reasons why they should get their books out there, or guides. I say guides rather than books. The only reason you shouldn't get the book out there is you've got more money than you know what to do with. That's the only reason you shouldn't get it out there, right? Okay. 
There's two reasons why you want to get the book done. One, if you want to make more money. Simple as that, really. Two, if you want to become the authority in your field. There you go, people. That's not me telling you. That's Mr. Mort telling you. Paul, thanks ever so much, my friend. Thanks for your time. He's a busy, busy man, and he's given it up today. So thanks a lot, mate. I do appreciate it. Thanks, Bill. I appreciate you, my friend. I appreciate all your help. You've been brilliant. There you go, folks. So, hope you enjoyed that um, as much as I did in uh, actually uh, talking to Paul. He's, he's very, very generous with his time. Um, and uh, he, uh, he gave a good, good in, insight there on, on his kind of book process. And listen, he's only at the start of it still, so he's not even at the end of the, the whole marketing process. But as you can probably see, um, you know, he's, uh, he's been able to kind of sort that out pretty quickly as well. So, um, so yeah, um, carrying on really from that, hope, hopefully you've got a lot from that. That was the whole point of tonight really is, is to kind of get you on there to see what other people are doing rather than talk about myself all the time. Um, it's, it's more about you. So uh, another kind of testimonial really from a, another author that we dealt with, uh, John McCulloch, is what he says there. A book is probably the most powerful positioning and authority bestowing marketing tool will ever have in your life and it's easy and it's a lot easier to write than you might think and even easier to get it published um, for some yes um, I agree so why does why yeah, I want to continue just very briefly why do so many top marketeers write books we can go to the big guns such as Tony Robbins and Gary Vaynerchuk Brendan Bouchard my main man Frank Kern uh, Russell Brunson you know Russell Brunson owns ClickFunnels which is a uh, you know 200 or 100 million dollar turnover software company and he, he produces books all the time um, so you know so why do they do this well quick little chart here didn't do quite do a little mind map just that kind of thing simplicity really is authority credibility positioning authenticity lead generation and then obviously the key thing in my opinion is the no like and trust um, these are basically the key six reasons why you should be writing your guys and books, getting them out there um, and, and, and getting yourself out there as well really, really helps. Top tip, Paul and I kind of uh, briefly went on this, uh, write something shorter than a book. Uh, a book shouldn't be where you start anymore, a book is where you arrive. Um, write a small how-to guide, a free chapter, uh, write newsletters, blogs, get articles published in a couple of magazines or newspapers online, offline, e-zines. You know, clients, potential clients, whichever industry you're in, are looking for authors with their platforms, audiences, followers, and fans. So if you haven't already, if you're, if you're watching this and you're starting out, you've got a very small following, no one really wants to know about me, you need to put your content out there. Start building your, uh, your tribe now, basically. So bottom line, work a quarter million cliches out of the system, learn what it means to be edited, uh, become an expert in something, people want to know your knowledge they're willing to pay for your knowledge build your platform and then start thinking about the book and guide for me the book the guide is always your number one lead magnet I've been doing this long enough now and I've had the privilege of working with many many top uh, marketeers business owners sales professionals their book is their number one lead magnet so it's easy for me to say but as Paul has just kind of clarified for you there it it clearly works um, this has been my lead magnet since 2012. Um, over 5,000 physical copies have been sold or sent out, plus uh, round about the same digital copies. It's a real small, it's an A, well, A6 uh, document, 34 pages. It's full of hints and tips. There's a clear call to action at the front and the back, and it's generated over £1.2 million worth of revenue to the business since 2012, so not bad. Um, and this is my lead uh, gen book since 2014. Again, over 3,000 copies have been sold or given away as well. Um, and again, round about, I think, I, about 1,000 digital downloads of it. Um, it's a, again, similar process, 108-page book. Uh, it's full of hints and tips, clear call to action front and back. And again, this is generated um, today over £835,000. Um, so the two books guides over £2 million worth of revenue to the business. Not bad, is it? Um, for me, it's the holy grail um, if you're going to send a physical book out. The reason why, again, uh, Grant Cardone, um, he doesn't need money. He's got uh, hundreds of millions of dollars uh, in his bank account, but he still writes books. Why? Because he can then do exactly what Paul says. He's got customers that are, 
a fresh ready to buy from him once he's ready to kind of sell them on the other products and services. And this is the whole thing here. This is the holy grail with, um, with book um, or guide. We can get the, the clients with their permission, obviously their full information where we can then market, uh, direct market, direct mail to as well. Um, Jonathan Jay, who's a, who's a UK based uh, property, uh, property business expert, sorry. And again, similar format, there's my book. Give us your details, we'll send you a free copy. Very simple stuff, folks. Uh, the king of uh, direct response marketing, Dan Kennedy. Um, again, look at how simple this landing page is. This guy's been responsible for, I think, over two billion pounds worth of sales and advertising with different clients over the years. Real simple. Name, address, email, where do I send it to? All for just 4 95 you get the CD and, and the book involved in that as well. So for me, the book is just the start of it. Um, I'm going to just very, very briefly touch on how easy it is to write a book. If you're like me, you're not a fantastic writer. There be, should be no excuses for you. Content is king. Um, and there's a different masterclass that I'll be talking about content shortly. Um, and again, from Oasis there, you need to be yourself. You can't be no one else. How do you write a book or guide in less than 30 days? Quite simply this. You need to know where your customer's pain is at the moment. Their... Um, the way that they're thinking, what's their struggles, etc., and how you can make them happy. So if I was to write a guide on how to write a guide, I'd simply do it like this, and I've simplified it here tonight. Normally you'd have about 10 different chapters, 10 or 12, but for me, I'd do the outline, I'd show them how to record it, how to transcribe it, then how to edit it. So that's my customer's pain is, oh, I don't know how to write a book. Oh, I can write a book. I know it's simple, but it works effectively. What I simply do is write down the, the main headline, and have five um, steps in each section, so sub-headlines. For example, how to write a book, what you need to do, the first steps to writing a book, creating the outline, showing the outline, for example. And then you rinse and repeat. You've got the, the four or the 10 or the 12 different um, headlines or the sub-headlines, and you simply just write down that, all of the headlines. Then I go to PowerPoint or Keynote, which depending on which one you're on, um, and then I, I simply put it onto like a PowerPoint format, similar to what you're looking at now. Um, put the five headlines down and then you can put as much writing or text as you like. Simply press record. You can do that on Keynote and PowerPoint and literally get it transcribed. Once you've recorded it, download the video. I use Rev.com. Um, Rev.com is brilliant. It's, if I'm honest, cheap, but very fast and effective. Um, and you get something back like this where you can simply download it. Uh, this is something I've done with Dom Hodgson, who I spoke about earlier. Uh, we done a, we done a masterclass about ooh, a year ago, I think. And uh, as you can tell, there's, I, I know, I do a lot of ums and ahs. But again, you get that edited and, and you get that removed, but the content is there for you. We, you, know, you should be producing daily content as it is. Um, if you want ghostwriting, I, if you haven't got the time for it or you're really struggling, go to Professional Ghostwriter. Of course, I can help you out there. I have a team of professional ghostwriters. Um, obviously, it's slightly more pricier, but you get the finished product. Be very, I would choose very wisely who you're going to go with a ghostwriter. Make sure they are a business ghostwriter if that's the, the genre you're going under. Understand the tonality of, of how you talk, how you speak, because that's the way it needs to come across. Um, it has to be you, even if it's ghostwritten as well. Um, always get it properly edited and proofread. Again, of course, companies like myself can help you out with that. Um, but obviously, I think that's a no brainer. I think once you've got it transcribed, you need to get it edited and proofread. And obviously, even once it's ghostwritten as well. Always, 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 especially nowadays, there's no excuse not to have a professional cover design. Um, we can do things like that. But again, you've got things like Fiverr and other places like that that, that, that you can do it for kind of relatively you know, cheaply. But again, you pay for what you get in life. So um, I think, you know, getting a professional cover design speaks volumes, says a lot about you. You're representing yourself, your brand, your company. You need to make it look smart and, and, and efficient. Um, just very briefly here, how to be your own publisher. Real simple. You go to Nielsen Book Data, go to nielsentitleeditors.com, you set up an account, you buy a minimum of 10 ISBNs, hey presto, you're a publisher. Um, and, and you go through the process. I won't go too much into that tonight, but that's, that's how we do it. You get 10 ISBNs and, and, and where you go. So what can your book or guide become? As Paul uh, went on before there, training courses, webinars, seminars, mastermind groups, continuity programs, widgets, consultations, I think the list literally goes on, video series, the whole lot. You know, it's such a powerful tool. The content you'll have, you'll have a content worth for three, four, five, six months plus. 
you know, you, once you've done the actual guide, and obviously the guide itself is building up to be the guide or the book anyway. So if you're posting daily, emailing daily, videoing daily, get it all transcribed, get it all together, you've got a guide or book. There is no excuses. Um, how to set your own sales pipeline up fast? Well, this looks like a very fancy kind of uh, thing, but it's pretty simple. This is a classic sales funnel that we use. As everything, it all depends on the funnel. Uh, your lead generation is key, um, and how to get a thousand, how do you sell a thousand books is all down to this. Um, personally, obviously, you look at your existing database that you have, that's where the, the, the majority of the money will be. Um, and then obviously, we can then do Facebook, social ads, Google, LinkedIn ads. Direct mail works tremendously well. Sales call, picking up the phone, eh? imagine that. It really does work. All lead it into a landing page of sorts, very simple, very unique, where the book is, free copy, eight ninety five, whatever it is, like I say, as Paul said as well, just make sure it pays for itself. Um, and then it will go into a lead gen system such as an email nurturing system where it could be the written film or the, or the video form nowadays, which um, people are loving and, and, and I get that. But always ask a question. Always make an offer. No matter how many emails or videos you do, you should be making an offer consistently um, because it's a no like trust. Okay, if people have come in um, here somewhere, we're going to nurture them and re nurture them if they haven't bought the book anyway because they, they will come in and provide information that, that, that we need. Um, you know, if they're going to buy a £10 book from us, that's great. But they might not be buying our workbook for £97, our online course for 1000 for example, or our mastermind groups for 5000 straight away. We need to be nurturing them along the way and, and providing good quality value, goodwill to them. And then through the process, you know, it normally does take 45, 60 day process. Again, that will be a new masterclass I'll be talking about. We can then sell on all other products and services, but a book itself is an amazing tool um, for you to start the process of the no like trust method. Um, as I said, the facts tell, stories sell. Uh, just very quickly, the secrets um, to selling on Amazon and any other book sites out there, it's like it's the same as marketing. Research your keywords. I use KDP Rocket. Rocket. Uh, find out what people are searching for. See if you can use those search terms in your title or subtitle. Um, add them to your description also. Uh, bonus points for adding them in bold or in a checklist. Put your book in a very targeted and also minor categories as well. So best way I can say it is choose your categories by looking at the top one and 20th book, first and 20th book in the categories where you find books similar to yours. What you need to do then is show up on the page of one of those categories you're in. So you need a sales rank higher than your 20th book. Uh, it's much easier to show up there if the 20th book has a high sales mark, over 100K for example. It's better to show up in a category that's not competitive for obvious reasons. Then it's, uh, it's more uh, invisible in, in the more competitive categories. So, there's a little trick there to Amazon. Um, I'm not going to go too heavy on that tonight because it's, that's a completely different subject altogether. But again, it's just a tactic how you can sell your first 1,000 books very quickly and effectively. And uh, you'll get these slides at the end of, end, end of the, uh, the, the, the masterclass anyway. Very briefly, direct mail 101. Um, you know, it's, you've got to use it. Um, as Jane, uh, as I uh, alluded to earlier, we just sent out 20 books of hers. She got three meetings. Uh, two of them went to buy her services. And uh, it's around about 100K plus lifetime client just by sending out letters with books. Um, I'm just going to briefly go through. This is on uh, LinkedIn if you want to see it. Um, it's by Chet Holmes, The Ultimate Sales Machine. If you haven't got the book, I read it. If you don't understand the direct um, Dream 100 method, then, then really look into it. And I can help you out with that as well. Um, so just very briefly, in a world where social selling and account-based marketing gets all the attention, the ultimate sales machine contains six steps to get a new client that just might change everything for you. First of all, what you need to do is, is create your dream 100 list. Who are the people, the companies that you would like to uh, have as customers? Simply put them on a spreadsheet or whatever it may well be. Secondly, choose a gift you're going to send to them. They don't need to be expensive. They just need to be memorable. Um, the old classic grass seeds looking to grow your business or the boomerang or whatever. You can buy these things really, really inexpensively now. It's, it's not, it doesn't have to be a, a super duper gift, but the, you know, that's the key thing. Third, create a simple dream 100 letter. Letter should be short, should be vague, uh, designed solely to the prospect to answer the phone call when you call. So there's a brief one here. Hi, Bob, Tim here. And there's something you need to know to grow your company 159% next quarter. I'm going to call you next Thursday morning. You should answer. 
It will change your business. Talk to you at 10 a.m. Thursday, Tim, for example. Very simple, very sweet. Fourth, very important, create your Dream 100 calendar. Plan on sending uh, something to those prospects at least once per month, ideally once every two weeks as well. We do it every week. Uh, fifth, do your follow-up. Simple. Um, the purpose of this is to call is to book an appointment, uh, a meeting, a webinar, whatever you want to do to discuss a product with the, uh, with, with the prospect. That's very important. A lot of people will, will fail um, at this here. And finally, present it. Similar to what I'm doing here, present what you've got for people, if it will help them, how it can achieve what they want to achieve. Focus on a story as always, always focus on a story. And, uh, and, and you know, which touches their pain points of how your product service can solve them. Pretty simple stuff, but not a lot of people are doing this. Um, and this is, these are a few kind of um, things here from David Ogilvy. Um, if you haven't uh, heard of David Ogilvy, then again, I strongly suggest that you go and have a look. Uh, this is simplicity, but it works tremendously well. Um, he's the art of advertising, and you know, again, he's. Uh, he was a guy in the in the fifties, sixties that really dominated the the, the the new media. Then you know, it wasn't it wasn't the social setting, but by newspaper, as it were. But the way the advertising really kicked off, kind of Mad Men style, um, and he's brilliant. So going back to today, definitely use direct mail. Obviously, social media ads. I just want to quickly show you one that we done probably about this is six months ago now, I think. Um, but it's it's a real easy case study. We created an ad, as you can see there. And I'll show you a couple other ads. Uh, we just put 100 quid on it, just to show you. Um, there's the impressions, there's the reach. We've got 22 leads from that. So it's basically get, get your free paperback copy, as I was talking about earlier. It cost us £4.55 a lead. It reached 350,000 people. Pretty simple stuff. Um, these are the other two um, actual uh, Adverts we sent out as well, so it just shows you different kind of variants we were doing. But very simple, hundred pounds, and it wasn't a lot. We did, however, receive around about I think it's five, six thousand pounds worth of goods in return um, by sending out books with a well-written letter, um, an offer, etc. Very simple. So for hundred pounds, we received. I can't remember the true figure, but between five and six thousand pounds. Pretty simple stuff, and we do that all the time and we amplify that and spend a lot more and just see what works, what isn't working. So you're going to have to do that as well uh, to get your first 1,000 books um, sold. Um, and also you need another product or service thereafter. So that's it for today. Thank you for your time. If you like what you've seen here, uh, then we have a training program uh, that will be of interest to you. Um, so all you have to do is to book a call with my team and I and just to basically discuss the next steps. If you want to do that, simply go to elitepublishingacademy.com slash chat. And I will see you very soon. Thanks for your time.